the thing about Bitcoin in particular is on the supply side in terms of um, the actual Bitcoin that are being emitted as block rewards and its overall supply and that curve, it is not responsive. It is like the, what we just described is a highly responsive and adaptive system. Um, this is the opposite. This is like a totally predefined emissions curve um, that, you know, as, as we all know, like every four years, the block reward halves um, and it's set in stone. It's fixed. Um, as a result, in a normal market, uh, when prices go up or increased demand occurs, there's some ability for new supply to enter the market either net new supply or more sellers. Um, that does not happen here. The more sellers thing can happen, but there's no new issuance or different responsive issuance um, here. As a result, the market response is absorbed entirely into the difficulty adjustment and the price, which is good and bad. It's, uh, it's why Bitcoin is so volatile to the upside um, and, and maybe why it is not used as payment mechanism. Um, and maybe why it's, uh, it's, it's not taken seriously, but it is a feature um, that Bitcoin attracts attention and adoption as a result of its price. So net net, it's, a, it's obviously a smart design, but if you want to design a system that serves as a savings mechanism or a payments mechanism, you naturally cannot have a fixed supply curve. Um, any monetary policy um, of an economy needs to scale along with the growth of that economy and demand for that economy. Um, so you could though do the same thing on the supply side as you do for the difficulty adjustment. Um, just as you say, hey, uh, block times are faster, more hash rate has entered the network, as a result that means more demand, we're gonna make it more difficult. You could do the same thing on supply and say, well, uh, more demand is coming, uh, we're seeing that as a result, I can offer less, I can adjust my price, so to speak. I can offer less or more, more on the supply side. Um, and so this is something that I think sets up where Quai is going and how it's building what it is. If you view minor behavior in the system as bringing real world information on chain, one of the things they're bringing is, as we said, market demand. The other thing is their behavior is telling us things about their costs. And it's telling us, it's enabling us to have a baseline level um, for our coin issuance, especially when like Quai and unlike Bitcoin, on the supply side, you have a responsive curve um, so that block rewards can go up or down depending on how much hash rate there is and, and the difficulty level. When you pair those two things together and what, Quai does, and ultimately what she is, is it provides a mechanism to attempt to design supply of a crypto native non-intermediated coin uh, to match minor production costs on an ongoing and variable basis. Which as we said is the two things that, that influence that wholly are electricity and compute efficiency. Well, if you add in a discount or degradation for expected compute efficiency, like Qi does, all you're left with is energy. And so this is the mechanism by which Qi um, is able to get information from miners about their costs and as a result, the price of electricity, and it can then have a responsive supply to tie and connect its price to electricity. So in this way, Qi is an entirely new category creating crypto native cash that's naturally connected to the price of energy. It's a on-chain native, non-intermediated stablecoin alternative. Um, it's not a peg. It's not trying to maintain uh, a steady price of whatever it is, but it is generally connected to it and floats around it because it's able to have that floor and connect its supply issuance to minor production costs, which is huge. It would be the first of its kind um, native on-chain, non-intermediated stablecoin alternative and a form of energy-based money, which uh, is an idea that's been proposed in the past. 
um, and in my opinion, is uh, is a very very compelling form of money um, for the 21st century compute centric economy that we're going into.